Alright, for this video we're going to run the Amiga 5.0 setup. So I've run the setup.exe from, uh, from the CD just to uh, start the uh, setup process. Uh, I'll do this in real time so it may be um, may a little bit tedious but uh, we'll, we'll go through it. Uh, one point of note before we begin, um, I've taken the, uh, the USB dongle out of the computer. Uh, so I want the setup to install the Sentinel drivers or the Rainbow drivers or it for, the, for the USB key. And we won't put that key in until it asks for it, so don't put the key in just yet. Alrighty, so um, yeah, standard sort of stuff when we come to setup. Just uh, yeah, we agree to our uh, terms and conditions, asking us here to back up our plot files. So just obviously before you do anything like this, make sure you back up your files. But really, they should be backed up anyway. Okay, so next. thinking about things. Okay, so now it's asking to run in demo mode. We, we can actually install this software if we want now without the dongle. Uh, fully usable. Uh, the only thing you can't do for obvious reasons is save a file or output to a plotter or a, any other device. So um, so here if we're just installing to, to, to practice or for, for demo purposes for you know, just software demos we can, uh, we can continue without the key. But for this I'm going to get my dongle and pop it in the computer. Okay, and uh, you'll notice the computer will now find it and all that sort of stuff. Uh, once it's uh, once it's done, we'll uh, nope, we'll attempt to read the key again. Okay, and then it'll uh, it'll find my key. It's found the number down here. We'll just um, enter in some details here so we can click next. Uh, default installation location. I wouldn't change that. Just makes easy for support purposes. If you have a problem, we know where the software is installed. However, you can put it wherever you like. No real biggie there. And here we've got a few options where we can, um, you know, do a custom install or a compact. Uh, but for this, for this purpose, and 99% of the time, we just go typical because we don't need to muck around with it. And obviously, the name of the the directory, directory in our start menu, that's fine. You can keep all that the same. We'll create a desktop icon. That's not a problem. And next, alrighty. So now it's just going to go through all the, the standard sort of install stuff. Give us a bit of a sneak peek of what we're in for with Omega 5. Uh, it's probably good to pay attention to that, some of this stuff while it's installing, just to, to see what's new. If you're, if you're used to older versions of the software, you can, uh, you can see what you can actually do. Um, but we'll go through all these in future videos. Now I'm actually installing this direct from the hard drive, so it's uh, Going through pretty quick, which is good to see. If you're on the CD, it probably takes just a little bit longer, and you can actually get a chance to see some of that stuff. Okay. And that should be basically it. It will ask at the end of this for us to uh, choose our vinyl printer or vinyl cutter. I'll say no to those boxes at the end of this and I'll show you actually how to install those. It's asking me if I want to uninstall my Amiga 4 which I've got on this system. I won't do that. I can run them uh, I can run them on the same computer, that's not a problem. Just need to change the dongle so I'll leave that there. Um, this is describing a um, I guess a, it automatically will send error reports back to Gerber. It's up to you if you wanted to, to run that. I won't put that on my computer at this stage. Okay, uh, I won't view the README. I won't install vinyl and plotters. We'll just finish the installation and I'll upload a video now of how to install the Gerber equipment on your computer. Uh, nope, let's not check for updates right now. And this is telling me how to install the fonts. Again, look for uh, other videos uploaded and I'll show you how to upload the fonts. Okay, done. We're now installed. We can see our icon on the desktop. Uh, obvious, I can just double click that. And Omega 5. Uh, I'm actually running a, um, a not for resale version, so that's why that's coming up. We won't worry about that. And then we all get our Omega window come up. Oops, it's come up on my other screen, but that's fine. There we go. So this would look familiar to any Omega users. Alright, I'll shut this one down and then we'll go over the, how to install our cutter and plug.